Monday, you know what that means. Get your glam on as we take you on the red carpet. You're watching On the Red Carpet. Get the latest Hollywood news brought to you by Pacific Rim Photos and Videos. Your eye on the red carpet. And I'm so thankful because the gods finally heard me. Last week, <laughs> Peter, I told Chris that I, I've been missing. Uh, Peter, where is he? And now you're here. I'm uh, here. My genie was good to me today. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Cover by in L.A. Good to see you again. And you know what? I understand that you've been so busy. In fact, last week alone, alone you covered a lot of events. Let's start with Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. Michael yes. Jackson, Hand of Footprint. That was so exciting. Thinking about it, it's really historic. You know, that's the first time, actually, uh, it was a posthumous uh, a uh, hand and footprint that was given out for Michael Jackson, which has never done before. Right. So, and so yeah. many stars came out, even Justin Bieber. But you actually got to talk to some legends and a funny man. So Smokey Robinson and Chris oh, yeah. Tucker. Here's the interview. If you're doing karaoke, you're singing along while you're driving. What Michael song do you always go to? What's your favorite one to sing to? Oh gosh, I mean, I just love his music, man. I, I can't, I can't even say that. That's impossible. This is, I say, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I would do uh, Man in the Mirror because that makes me cry sometimes. Do you kill it? Like, do you throw in the moves too, or are you? I do do it. I'm not gonna do it now, but I, I do kill it a little bit. <laughs> My favorite MJ song, I Just Can't Stop Loving You. Isn't well, that like a, such a nice song? Yeah, I can yeah. imagine you singing it. Really? No, yeah. I can't sing it. <laughs> what about you? What do you sing? Uh, oh, gosh. Heal the world. Heal the world. <laughs> <laughs> From singing to dancing, Peter, can, can we just talk about dancing? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Get your dancing shoes on. America's Best Dance Crew auditions last weekend, and you were there. Yes. How was it? Was How was I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the energy was just powerful. Oh, yeah. It was really powerful. There was, this year was crazy because since because of iconic boys from last season there are tons of kids auditioning but still we still had we still had a lot of good adult crews that were there yes. and it was like from 9 10 a.m. till 7 or 8 at night right here are some of the highlights <laughs> The movements are prepared or practiced, and how much are just you know feeding off of what the public is giving them as a vibe? Oh, a lot of them practice. They they can practice for months. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one group called uh, School Rascals. I just found out they were practicing for months, and then even when they got a call back for the next day, they, had to practice they were practicing. And they're little, they're young girls wow. from probably like seven to thirteen, and their uh, their their main person that that works with them is uh, Hazmat from Hi Five O. He had them practice till 1 a.m. in the morning, and, and their their next it was the next day they had to go back and for callbacks. And why not? Practice makes perfect. Yes. So is it safe to say that the judges will have a hard time this I, season? I think so. Yes. There's a lot of there's a lot of good crews out there that we saw at the LA audition. And one of those judges um, is a proud Kababayan and a Kababayan pride, Dietrich. And of course, Packram was able to talk to him. Here it is. Really cool. Like I kind of found out from like Randy and his man at Hip Hop International actually, yeah. and uh, it was just an amazing thing. I was just so honored. I mean, the fact that they're bringing back the season is a really cool thing, and just to be part of it again is another thing. So uh, yeah, I'm just uh, grateful. And more dancing for the community. The big uh, dance event of the year so far. Right. The the very first opening of the whole season of dance for 2012 was Vibe mm -hmm. 17. That's the 17th year over at UCI. Why? What is Vibe? Vibe is actually it's it's a dance event that was created by by Asian American uh, uh, fraternity called Lambda Theta Delta, mm -hmm. and also what they did was finding a ways to also uh, raise money for different charities and this year they they raised a portion of the money for uh uh what's it? alzheimer's for oh, alzheimer's okay. so it's good it's not yeah, just yeah. getting it's not together just that, yeah. raising something for the community right wow, right. right yeah and i follow i got a lot of tweets i think it's maybe because i follow a lot of dancers right <laughs> arnel Silvario of uh Cabo modern was tweeting about it too. oh yeah yeah um but jr aquino we know him as a yeah, it was surprising that he's actually opened up the show mm -hmm. and you know a lot of times dancers just want to see the dance But the girls were actually swooning when he sang some of the songs and he was excited and and it was kind of like just an interesting thing that he was there Yes, and here are his thoughts on being there What's the feeling like when you look out in the crowd and people are like singing along to one of the songs that you've written you perform It's not on the radio, but it's your thing. How does that feel and what it goes through your head? That's uh, that's actually very one of a kind. It's, it's, it, it's crazy to me every single time I see it. Um, I remember one of the first times that ever happened, I like, I was just like taken back. I, I forgot the words because I was like, like, oh my gosh, the people are singing my song. Like it was the craziest thing. Yeah.
Perfect. All right. Uh, what are you working on this week? Ooh, well, we definitely have uh, The Vow with Janning, Channing Tatum. There should be a red carpet. The Vow. Yeah. It looks like a good movie. Yeah, very interesting. So we're going to see what <laughs> happens. Tear jerker? <laughs> yeah, very much. Yeah. Love, uh -huh. tears. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, it's a true, it was actually based on a true story of a... Uh, 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 husband have to making his wife fall back in love with her oh, because of a uh, you know uh, memory loss. Right. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. Very much like the Notebook, right? Something, Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anything else? Uh, we got some other things in the works, but I just want to keep in the low. Are first. you sure? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to plug anything. Plug uh, Pacific Rim. Oh well, everybody, Pacific Rim Video. Uh, that's our Twitter, mm -hmm. and then our YouTube, just slash Pacific Rim Video Press, and then also. Uh, my own one is Peter Gonzaga. Yes, yeah. I follow all. I follow Chris, I follow Peter, Peter I follow Pacific Rim. But follow us as well. Uh, in a little while, we're going to show you the slide of you know where you can catch us, if not on Cabo Bay in LA at 4.30, because we're always on in all those other social media outlets. Uh, for now, thank you so much. More power to you. Have a Definitely. great week. Dance this is Benjamin Al Sawyer, Cabo Bay in Los Angeles. I'll see you again tomorrow.